supposed to walk there before I fall. I was looking for you. Oh my god. Hey yo, what's up ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy and welcome back to another video. I messed up my vibe, man. I'm trying to look cool. Did you yeah, see the glasses? Go sit in the wheelchair. Just sit, sit in the wheelchair. Okay, okay. Alright ladies and gentlemen, today we have a very special video. Not only are we going to be unboxing the most dangerous Wish products ever made and testing them out, we are also going to be doing an unboxing before that. No count. We are gonna be testing out some Rhino Shield products today. So a huge shout out to Rhino Shield for sponsoring today's video. Let's see what we got in our little Rhino Shield mystery box. Oh my, we got blessed, we got blessed. So many different phone cases, Apple watch cases, screen protectors, more phone cases. Yo, I might have to give away a couple Rhino Shield phone cases. Let me know if you guys want some in the comment section down below. And we still have one more box. Peep this galaxy skin, the NASA logo. Ooh, this is one I specifically requested. So they have all these really cool custom designers who make cases specifically for Rhino Shield. Oh. Oh! Yo, this is a vibe. You see the IG camera taking a picture of the food? This one might be my favorite. Peep this. Oh, come on. And they got the peel down pad. Look at that. And with some of them, you can actually swap the back out. Boom, you get this and then you can put in different backs so you can change it however you want. Okay, and then these are the back plates. So remember I mentioned like this one doesn't have a back plate right now, but we've got a few custom back plates. So these are cheaper than buying a whole new case every time. Oh, these guys blessed us. What? Oh yeah, you can change the buttons. So if you if you don't like the buttons, you can swap them out. But there you go. See, so we basically turn this case into the meh case. But if you want to swap <laughs> it out, bang. And then you just swap them out whenever you want. We've got like four or five different backplate designs. Some of them are solid suits. So it's like the full cover case, like this NASA one right here, which is the vibe. And I'm going to peel it. Don't peel everything. Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> uh, I'll save some of the peels for you if we're giving a few of these away. <laughs> now, obviously they've got some very cool cases, which we are going to be testing out shortly. We're going to be putting them on my phones and we're going to be running them through a battery of tests. But the main thing that they've asked us to test out today is the 3D impact screen protector. So here we have a traditional tempered glass screen protector. It's it's hard, feels like glass. It, well, it is glass, it's tempered glass and it looks great, but they are fragile and they can break easily. But Rhino Shield came up with a game changer changing solution using a new polymeric material that looks and feels like glass but is tough as nails. Says on here, resists over three times the impact energy compared to unprotected screens. So this screen, three times stronger. Pop this open. No. This is it? No way. No, 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 no. This is like glass. It's hard. Look, try and bend it. There's no bend. My G, what? Are, what? How? You can fully bend this. This is flexible. So if you were to look at these two items, you might think that this one is stronger, but apparently this bendable version is actually stronger and more long lasting. So we're going to test this today. We're going to do some basic drop tests, just like what might actually happen with your phone. And then we are going to really push things to the limit when we unbox all of our most dangerous products products from Wish and use those to test out this new screen protector. Okay, first we gotta actually put this on. So let's grab our iPhone 11 Pro. Comes with a little installation kit. All right guys, so I don't know if you can tell, but the screen protector is on right now. It looks really, really good. You wouldn't even know it was there, I would say, unless somebody told you. And the case, obviously, big vibes. So overall, this is a full Rhino Shield protected phone right now, and it is time for us to put it to the test. So the first test we're gonna do, a classic drop test, all right? We're just gonna do it on the table. Make sure it can survive that before we bring it over to the range and start shooting bow and arrows at it, you know what I mean? All right, ready? This still hurts, because this is my actual iPhone 11 Pro. Like, I am, whew! We're putting our own products on the line right now, folks. <laughs> Nothing. Clean. Felt like it absorbed the sound as well. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit higher. Oh my God. <laughs> Literally, the only thing it did is it made a little air bubble in the bottom and then I just pushed it out and it's gone again. So you get an air bubble instead of a broken screen. Not bad, not bad at all. But now we're gonna do the nail test. This might be one of the craziest tests I've ever seen. Basically what I'm told I can now do is use my phone like a hammer to hit this into the wood. I don't know how I feel about this, but we're gonna try it. I'm gonna start gentle, okay? There's a little bit of damage to the screen protector, but it's like a dent. What you want to see happening is the case or the screen protector getting damaged, not the phone itself. That's the thing that's extremely valuable. So, so far, so good. 
nothing. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this, but you can see the dents in the actual screen protector. Nothing on the phone. The phone looks completely untouched, despite just being used as a hammer. I am very, very impressed. And honestly, the damage to the screen protector wasn't that much. You could have easily still kept this on your phone and been using it for a while. If this was glass, I think we all know it, we would not have the same result. I'm, I'm very, very impressed right now. All right, we've tested out the screen protector with the phone. It's done a great job. I think it looks really good. And now it's time to do some wish unboxing. Take those weapons, bring Bring them over to the range and really put this screen protector to the test. Back to your more regularly scheduled programming. Let's see what dangerous items we can find on Wish. All right, we have the Smart Marksman Laser Slingshot. When we bought these off Amazon, we had a similar product. So we can kind of compare. If you guys remember, that was a bit of a scary experience when we realized that Jay is a professional slingshot shooter. <laughs> Oh, little red dot vibe. This is just to stress people out, make them think that you have a sniper from far when in reality you just have a slingshot. Okay, we're gonna set this up and uh, we'll see you guys on the range. All right, we are at the range and as you can see, we've got two brand new iPhone SEs. All right, we're gonna be using these to test out our weapons and the Rhino Shield 3D impact screen protector. So of course, we gotta do a little Apple unboxing, you know? You know. Oh, can I do it? Please, 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 please. Ah! Please. <laughs> I'm already done. Uh, sorry. Uh, boom. And you know what, guys? And I am doing that one. Oh. Oh. Oh! So we're gonna be using this to test it. We've got a black one here as well. They're the 64 gigabytes. But if these phones survive all of the tests with the 3D impact screen on them, obviously. Now these are very abnormal tests. These are not everyday tests. You're never just walking down the street, your phone falls out of your pocket and gets sliced by a sword. That doesn't happen, okay? So these are obviously meant to really push this screen to its limits and potentially it's going to actually break the phone. But if it does enough to save these phones from all the damage that we are gonna put them through. I'm gonna give one of these phones, if it survives, away to you guys. So I'll let you guys know how to enter later on in the video. Be sure to stick around to see if these things survive because uh, they don't survive, then no giveaway for you guys, unfortunately. But let's put this screen protector on. Our phone is prepared, our first weapon is ready, and I'll be honest with you guys, I was planning on easing into this, and this is not really easing into it, shooting metal balls at it, so we're gonna do it relatively gently off the start, because I don't wanna destroy the phone on the very first one, and if we pull this thing all the way back, I have no idea what's gonna happen, but we will eventually do that. We're just gonna work our way up to it, all right? I'm not gonna lie, normally Jay's the one who's stressed out when we're doing this, but I'm feeling <laughs> a little stressed. I'm not gonna lie. Three, two, one. I pulled that not very hard, but still, I see absolutely nothing. No damage whatsoever. I'm gonna try it again. We're gonna pull it back a little bit more. Peep that laser <laughs> pointer, Dougie. Oh, you're dead. Oh. oh, it said hello. I see nothing. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Let's compare this to a pumpkin. It's time to see if the pumpkin shield survives. It's just a pumpkin, it's not a shield. It's in there. Ooh, and like, I can't even cool. see it. I don't know how it could be all the way in and just rattling around on the inside of the pumpkin. Now the pumpkin is probably the one of the harder fruits we've tested on the range here. So I'm impressed that this still managed to get through. And the fact that the rhino shield took literally no damage, I'm shocked. But we are gonna come back to this later on in the video and we're gonna let Jay pull it all the way back because as you guys know he's a slingshot professional that we no i didn't know we just found out in the last video so we're gonna we're gonna really test out the rhino shield later on in the video with the slingshot but for now let's head back to the unboxing and see what our next weapon is We got a folding ninja grappling hook. I don't know if this would be a weapon, but it's definitely dangerous. Just like shining a red laser pointer in someone's eye is, Jay. Oh my God. Good. Damn, this is intense. We might even use this to try and scale the building. I don't know, but let's head to the range. Next weapon, we've got the grappling hook. Again, not typically used as a weapon from what I've seen, but hey, today that's exactly what it's gonna be used for. First up, we've got the pumpkin. Let's see how much damage this bad boy does. That was a big dent. I'm gonna try and get it so one of the spikes actually goes in. Oh! Oh, oh 
my god. That's what we call a grip. Bro, I'm ready to climb, you know? Get over here. Oh, shit. <laughs> So will the Rhino Shield screen protector be able to withstand the grappling hook? If this does, I'm honestly shocked. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna start light. We're gonna start light. Yeah, all drop, right? drop, drop it on. Hold that on. Was man. Still pretty hard. <laughs> Hold on. Hit it again. Oh my <laughs> god. Shaking. Bro, okay. All right, here we go. Ready? Oh. Just a hit. Hi. Sorry. Oh! That wasn't just a hit. That like. What? That was pretty hard. I see a little crack, but I think that's on the actual case. We're gonna hit it one more time. Drop test style. Ready? Yep. <gasps> Yo, how? how? Nothing. That was even less because it wasn't the point. I'm honestly very, very <laughs> impressed. <laughs> very <laughs> impressed. Okay. All right. It's okay, Jay. It's okay. The phone's safe. The Rhino Shield 3D Impact Protector has got our phones back. Okay. You okay? Okay. All right. Next item. Next item. Next item. Next item. Next item. All right. What do we have here? I think it's a baseball bat with a light on the end. This is basically just a bat. Let's head to the range. We're back at the range this time with the baseball bat. Can hmm. we hit a home run? It's not actually a baseball bat. It's like a baton with a light. Oh, oh, oh. That's a big dent. Okay, I wasn't actually ready, ready. You weren't ready? What did you say ready? <laughs> yeah, I said okay. I was, All but right. I didn't know. Whoa. You see the Barry Bonds home run strength right there. We sent a crack all the way through the pumpkin. It's holding up pretty well. I would say it's definitely the strongest fruit. Is this a fruit? Strongest food item that we've attacked in recent videos. But as you guys know, we also have to test out the iPhone SE. Well, it's starting to get a little more intense, ladies and gentlemen. And it's on the line whether or not you guys are going to get this phone. It needs to survive for you guys to get it. So, all right, ready? Yep. There's an, I heard a crack. I think that cracked. <laughs> what? Did you not hear a crack? I swear I heard a crack. Did you hear a crack? I, 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 I can't even talk. I can't even speak English. Anymore. Yo, I'm so, I'm actually so impressed, guys. I know this is a sponsored video, but genuinely, I am very, very impressed with how much damage this is taking. I'm going to hit it again. At this point, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like, just like, bah, <laughs> like, send it into another stratosphere. I'm expecting it to break right now. Cause honestly, you would, this would never happen. You would never just get attacked by somebody with this and then like, here, no, hit my phone instead of me. Like that's not what's gonna happen, okay? We're gonna find out if that did happen, maybe you should use your phone as a self-defense tool. I don't know. Oh, they hit you, you put your phone. Yeah. All right. Three, Three two, two, one. <laughs> I hit that so hard. Oh, All right, here, here, no, come no, in. No, no, Moment no. of truth. Is it okay? Hello? What? <laughs> How? Nothing. He, the phone is just there saying hello. Literally the only thing I can see, it's and I'm bubble. still pretty sure that is from the, it's just the top, is the point when it hit it from the grappling hook. All right, folks, we got the BB gun from one of our previous videos. I think it was Amazon most dangerous items. I feel like it's gonna survive everything. We yep. might have two iPhones to give away at this point. I thought I would be on the second one by now, but I guess not. All right, here goes nothing. Okay, we got a little bit of damage here, but I will almost guarantee that this is just on the screen protector. Pretty sure, again, we'll find out when we take this off at the end. But so far, my G, the most dangerous items on Wish are not holding up to the Rhino Shield. I know some of you guys are gonna be in the comments like, Sean's just saying this because it's a sponsored video. I swear, I swear I'm not. It's, I I'm speechless, all right? Next item, we gotta find something better. All right, we've got another zombie-related item. This is Zomb War. Looks like we have some more throwing knives. These ones are from Wish. I wonder how they... Oh, oh, shit. As you can see, it's kind of like a machete vibe of a throwing knife. That's pretty badass. I'm excited to test this out on the range. <laughs> Let's head to the range and test it out. We've got our throwing knife, machete, zombor, whatever this thing is. We're going to test shaving it out on tool. the pumpkin first. <laughs> yeah, shaving tool. You know, get a little trim. We're going to test it out on the pumpkin first. And then we're going to test it out on the strongest thing known to man, apparently. The Rhino Shield <laughs> Screen Protector. All right, ready? Oh, shit. <laughs> it made a nice slice in the skin right here. Ooh. And then flipped up and landed like that. I Did literally just hit, bounce up? I hit the exact same oh. spot twice. <laughs> Let's just stab it. All right, we're gonna see how much damage this can cause. Pretty good. The slicing power, oh, not much. bad. Yeet. The moment of truth. I don't know if you guys are excited about this, but this is what I'm excited about. Can we find something to finally break this? I have no idea, but ready? Yep. 
Okay, Whoa. that was that hard. Was, that was a hit. Oh, Ooh. okay. We got a little bit of damage here. So you can see that it sliced through. I think I might've hit that connected like perfectly, but it sliced through the screen protector a little bit. I honestly, it might've done a little bit of damage to the screen, but not much. Okay, so we have all of this damage. The question is, do you think that got through? I don't know. I don't think it did, but we still have a couple more items to test out. We made a lot of contact here. This thing, I think, pushed it to its limit the most. We're gonna find out later if it actually destroyed the phone or not, but I, I really don't think it did. Next item. Next item. What do we have in here? Two items. Oh, this looks legit. Oh. oh, we got a sword and matching throwing knives. Oh my. And then the actual sword itself. Oh. <laughs> Yo, are you stupid? Come on, what kind of blue Power Ranger am I? <laughs> Look at these vibes. The Fantasy Master. Throwing knives are dull. They, they might not... just be for show. Let's see what this other one is. Another sword. Oh, is this a samurai? Yeah. This is a samurai sword, my G. Are you dumb? Are you stupid or are you dumb? I'll slice you up with a samurai. Smash the leg one. Jeez. This is not exactly what I was expecting, but it's still pretty yeah, sick. Still... The nice hand guards. You don't slice your hand up. Who's the Bleach fan? From uh, the anime. Ichigo, yeah. Zanpaktu. This is not very sharp either. These these ones are definitely a little more for show, but let's take them to the range, baby. All right, folks, we're bringing out the big guns now. We've got the blue ninja sword and the knife. We're gonna do that first. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, not bad, not bad. Now we bring out the big puppy. I wanna see if I can slice all the way through this. Not quite all the way through, about halfway. <laughs> Yo, I'm a samurai, my G. That was some samurai shit. Okay, here, let's do that again. Oh! You see the guts? The top is getting popped off right now. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> Obviously, the sword did work on the pumpkin. That's what I expected. The pumpkin's been holding up pretty good, but this is kind of built to destroy it. But can it do any damage to the rhino shield? Let's find out. Okay, we're gonna, honestly, we haven't tested the case much. We've just been focusing on the screen protector, but let's see how the case holds up. Ready? Yep. A Little bit of damage. Bro, if this survives, I can't wait to peel this off and see what we're working with. Oh, okay, we got a little damage. Right there, you can see the slice. It went into the case a little bit. I don't, again, I don't know if this is doing damage. We're gonna find out when it's all said and done. I'm gonna hit it one more time with a little more oomph. I mean, it's it's doing damage to something. I don't know if we managed to get through. I'm hitting it one more time. Okay, we got three. Look at that. That looks like a case. Like that would be kind of a cool case. Like slices going across it. So we tried out that sword, but as you guys know, we have another sword. So let's get another pumpkin and see how that one deals with it. Oh, the last samurai, huh. Tom it's Cruise, it's maybe. A shinobi. <laughs> All right, ready. Oh, that was through the meat of it. I'm gonna hit it again, but a little harder. I'm trying to be controlled. I don't wanna go too crazy and kill somebody accidentally. <laughs> Look at that. The top just got popped off. If this can survive this, I... Here we go, samurai sword versus the rhino shield. Smash the like button, because if this survives, you guys get it. And honestly, at this point, you're probably gonna get one anyways, because we're gonna have one that's not destroyed. And I honestly think both of them are gonna be fine, so. An iPhone SE coming to one of you guys. Here we go. Ooh. Did like a front flip. I'm gonna go a little harder. Ooh. That was pretty hard. Ooh, my G, if this thing is alive, I'm gonna lose it. There's oh no my. Way. No oh way. My God. There's oh no my way God. Oh my that God. it oh survived. God. There's no way. At the very least, it's in decent condition. Still works. So we don't know for sure how much damage has been done, but it has saved the phone multiple, multiple times. I'm pretty confident that this thing is fine. Honestly, I'm pretty confident. And we need to put this to the ultimate test. So Jay is going to pull back on that slingshot as hard as he possibly can and try to finally break through impenetrable screen protector. Cause that's basically all we've learned today is that the screen protector is very strong and pumpkins aren't. That's it. <laughs> Which, I mean, this the pumpkin part, I was pretty sure a sword could cut through a pumpkin. This part, this is new to me. I don't know about you guys, but very new to me. Again, I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, but if you guys wanna get your own, link down below in the description. There's a discount code I'll tell you about later on in the video, but it's time for the grand finale. <clears throat> 
Okay, let me just show you what I can do with this. Oh, you hit that! <laughs> this guy's a sniper! Boom, clean. Where is it? No, it didn't come out the other side. I was gonna be stressed. I don't know. All I know is that thing went clean right through there. No problem. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Do you think this is gonna go through? Comment down below and smash the like button in three, two. Oh oh! <laughs> There's no way. If it's alive, I, I, that was hard. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is it. This is the moment of truth. Uh, what do you think? Do you think it survived? I, I don't know. I pulled it real hard. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think it did, but let's I, find I, out. I was trying to hold back. It, I, I, don't I don't know. Okay, here we go. Comment down below if you guys think that the phone survived. Bring it up slow. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh my God. Oh, my God. oh that hurts your soul. That hurts your soul. Uh, something tells me that that went through the screen protector. <laughs> I told you, you slingshot champion of the world. <laughs> okay, so obviously we knew this was a possibility. We went all out on the last one because honestly, we had done pretty much no damage to this and I was expecting to break it halfway through and need the other phone, but it made it all the way until our final most extreme test. Jay, as you've seen, has shot that through a melon, went in one side, out the other. No problem, bounced off the wall and almost hit us. So it's flying. Obviously, absolutely destroyed this phone. That goes without saying, but let's take a look and see how everything else did damage wise. Okay, so right here, these are sword marks. Nothing underneath, nothing. nothing. Literally nothing else did any damage. Even the one, the throwing knife that did a good amount of damage to the screen protector, nothing on the phone. The only thing that broke the phone was the, the literally the hardest slingshot shot you've ever seen in your entire life. <laughs> And the phone is done so. It's absolutely slapped. I thought I was honestly like maybe for yeah. a second. And then as soon as you let go, I was like, there's no chance. I would die. I would, I, you, I would actually die. I think if that hit me in the heart, it would pierce through my muscle and kill me. This is just proof that this is real, okay? If it hadn't done any damage, I would have honestly started to think that this was vibranium and they got it from Wakanda, okay? <laughs> That's what I would have started to think. All right, guys, as you saw, unfortunately, we did lose one of the iPhone SEs, but I was honestly banking on losing both of them today. Jay's crying behind the screen. We still have one unopened iPhone SE, all black, as well as a boatload of Rhino shield cases to give away to you guys so in order to enter all you got to do is follow me on instagram you can throw jay a follow as well while you're there like this photo and comment sean is beautiful okay <laughs> You're probably thinking like some iPhone or like, nah, just let me know I'm beautiful, all right? Go check it out right now and I will be giving away the iPhone and a bunch of cases to you guys at home. So again, follow me, throw Jay a follow while you're there, like the photo and comment Sean is beautiful and maybe I will bless you with some beautiful iPhone and iPhone accessories. But with that being said, let's head back to the green screen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today's video. You saw us use all the most dangerous items from Wish, put them to the test against a variety of fruits as well as the rhyme Rhino Shield 3D Impact Screen Protector. And I think it's pretty clear that the 3D Impact Screen Protector did a very good job. So if you guys wanna get your hands on your own Rhino Shield products, including the new 3D Impact Screen Protector, check out the link down below in the description. Use code ITSYABOY at checkout for 20% off, but it's only going to last for the next 48 hours, so you gotta go quickly, all right? And like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we do have one last little thing to show you guys, a sneak peek of the iPhone 12 cases that Rhino Shield is gonna be making. We have the iPhone 12 mini and three different versions of the iPhone 12 Pro. These are not exact, obviously, but as many of you know, the iPhone 12 is gonna be announced very soon, and they're already working on some really dope cases for the newest product from Apple. Another, oh, we got a whole bunch of these. Look at this, little carbon fiber vibe. Now, I don't know about you guys, but just out of curiosity, I'm I'm very interested to see how big the new phones compare to the iPhone 11. So let's see, is this? Okay, so the iPhone 12 Pro is gonna be slightly bigger than the iPhone 11 Pro based off of this. And how big is the iPhone 11 mini supposed to be? Oh, this is gonna be small. Oh, 
They're making a very small iPhone. This might be the size of the iPhone SE. Very, very interesting. So these are the new sizes that they're working with right now. Obviously these are yet to be officially announced or they might have just been announced by the time this video comes out. If you guys are planning on getting an iPhone 12, be sure to get a case and a screen protector from Rhino Shield as well. As always though, thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will catch you next time. Toodles. It's too high, I can't. We had to put a new lens on the overhead. It's just, it's... bye.